The surprise attacks carried out after the declaration okay. of war saw the peacekeeping forces of various countries, including Osea, suffer major damage. The ships moored around the space elevator and near Gandar Bay have been hit particularly hard. Numerous ships have been sunk and abandoned. Fortunately, our cutting-edge aircraft carrier, Kestrel-2, was at sea, so it was spared from the attack. <laughs> Kestrel-2 is now preparing to launch another Not attack yet, against Arugia's capital, Barbanti. The aircraft carrier Vulture Another's also ha. managed to escape After Gandar Bay safely. Day. Wait. However, it lost all its aircraft, so it's sailing empty. Vulture 2, huh? Today, the International Union Peacekeeping Force reclaims its bid to the space elevator. The Fort Gray's Island Air Base Squadron will rendezvous with the carrier Vulture right. for a joint mission. The first objective will be to seize air superiority in Choppenburg in order to secure a route for the support squadrons. The enemy maintains air superiority over Choppenburg, <coughs> so expect heavy resistance from enemy aircraft. There's more, so listen carefully. Right from the start of the war, the enemy has been deploying drones. They're using a new advanced type of drone. The unmanned dude. airborne aircraft carrier, the Arsenal, carries this new drone, MQ-101. Anyway. <clears throat> the Ocean Army headed up the development of the massive Arsenal birds and dispatched them to the space elevator to provide support. However, it's been reported Not that the, the carrier may have fallen into the hands of the Erosion forces. If Falling that's true, again. it would be a significant obstacle for us. Oh, the one oh, you are. We need to regain control of the space elevator ASAP. Good luck out there. All right. Moving to deploy. Hmm. Rendezvous is at 1500 hours of a Yolva Fast Vulture of a Gargoyle and Skeleton Squadron Again, a small patrol force of 8 planes Should be a piece of cake I'd like a Hornet, but Meh I want some long-range combat for once. Let's see. F-14D, old but still reliable. <laughs>
All right, moving the story. It's two moving. Copy that. Mage 2, taking off. This is Mage 2, I'm away. Mage 2 is away. Moving Schottenberg. Mage 2, specified altitude reached. Restrictions lifted. Good luck. Copy, Falter. Mage Squadron, this is the situation. Gollum and the other bases squadrons already joined forces and are engaged. You guys will arrive. All right. The Let's see what these long range Phoenix do. All bandits in the current airspace. Do. We have the upper hand, but that doesn't mean we can ease up. <coughs> Who's aiming not going easy? Mage one to Gollum one. Thank you, lucky stars. Looking good, Mage Squadron. Keep up that pressure. Trigger time to show the other guys that we can bet wild and do dirty, <laughs> dirty things. Two down. Mage two, cross three. Even in the clouds. And so your first hunting season begins. If you can't evade a missile, use the Yeah, I know. Shot down for all right. Even if you're in a 9G turn. Boom. Mage two, fox three. Hey, illusion! Wait, this. Nice kill. Boom! Oh. One remaining. <laughs> Just over, over a minute, and I've cleaned up the airspace. Moving to engage the last falcon. Nah, I bet they had a duck wish after the last one. Okay. Engaging. Woo! That was the last Falcon. <laughs> what the hell? All squadrons of fate. No! Come on, come on! Ah, oh, shit. Don't tell me it's what I think it is. Engaging. Splash one. Drop light. Boom. Shit, 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 shit. Target destroyed. Come on. Come on. Guns, guns, guns. Ah! Ah! This is me, Stu. I'm hit. Repeat. I'm taking fire. 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 So many missiles at once. Damn it! One more hit, my, my Tom Cats. Toast. Come on! Well, he's hit. That's too bad. 
Tom. We're losing. No copper left. I can see it. New lap for Phoenix is run for short range. Continuous purity. We're not really equipped for taking out uh, an airborne aircraft carrier. Break! 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 All aircraft! Break! Break! Oh God! We lost Skeleton Squadron. Skeleton Squadron is down. We've had too many losses. All squadrons, command has ordered a complete withdrawal. Leave the operation area. Come on. Page two splash one fossil. <laughs> Copy that. Mage squadron moving in to support Gargoyle's escape. Target destroyed. <laughs> they may be really agile, but you know. He can spell Rage Isle without Age Isle. Come on. Come on. Target destroyed. Illusion, human crates. My salmon skykeeper. Shit. Okay, okay. Firing. Not so tough at close range. Huh? God damn it, not fight. No. Maintain your focus, maintain your focus. Fuck. I'm not killing anyone anymore. Just robots. Anything. What the? Whoa. Whoever that decoy is, it must be really very skillful. Just talk to me. Oh, oh no, oh no. Orange wingtips? That must have been personalized. Now everybody gets to do that. <coughs> Fox free. Boom. Target destroyed. Mage 1, break off, will ya? <laughs> so much for that idea. Oh no, oh no. I don't get it. Why isn't it opening fire? I'm scared. Oh, this is not good. But hate to be in her position. I mean I know she ain't exactly like me, but still. Come on, come on. Where it comes? Oh, right there. Okay. That's right. Come on. Daddy needs a bullseye. Firing. Shit, shit, shit. Target down. Come on, you sons of bitches. You want to live forever. Ah. Clouds are screwing up the accuracy. <coughs> and they just engage like me. Oh, 
Hold still. One drone left. Okay. Damn! Just fucking die. Boom. Damn, clown. I was tied up with that other cargo of bear. Patience. No, no. Column two, get away from the enemy. Page two, support. Not too late. Somebody. Page two. No. This is page two. Brownie is down. Repeat, column two is down. Lost. Huh. <sighs> Not that would change anything, because he was too far away from me with Cage. This one for brownie robotic shit. All UAVs have been splashed. Returning the falter. Lost this airspace. I'm going to land. Perfect, Mage 2. I knew you'd be back. Now return to base. Standing by. Unfortunately, the two Lord, what a disaster. Lost explains and walk during the attack on Farmer. Castle 2 was sunk. The successor to the old one, captained by friend Captain Anderson. Also suffered heavy losses. Six pilots. If it weren't for a few extraordinary fighters, well, you're you lucky, have made it people. The situation is grim. <laughs> we have precious little time, however. We have to get to the space. You're right. <sighs> what a day. Here he comes. looking worse. Thank God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. Their sisters, 15 and 10. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body. But today, he was really showing his age. The drones we based on his data were being taken down at a faster rate now compared to when the war began. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and 
poisoned his body. But he was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. If his flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him, I can't imagine how many Gs he hit today during the battle. As a pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. How penal is this penal unit, you ask? This place is a shithole. If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place, that would give you a pretty good idea of what the air smells like around here. We got all kinds of critters, too. Everything from flea-ridden guards, rabid dogs, and a mechanic doing the stretch for life. I can't forget the rats. Yeah, we got those. And some pilots who got their wings clipped, too. One's a great pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck. And one's an anarchist with no balls. Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. The idea was for a Rouge's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arugia lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Every now and again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards' room. It was the Erujian princess rallying her people on the Erujian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans too. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. You could say her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. No way am I just gonna sit here and rot away in this hellhole. Dark blue. Instead of building fake-ass planes to trick Arugia, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. You can count on that. <laughs>